A kind of medical detective in a cramped closet filled with odds and ends found pieces to a puzzle lots of scientists now want. Tissue samples pressed in paraffin and smeared on slides. Tissue samples taken 18 years ago from a 15-year-old St. Louis boy, now thought by some to have died from AIDS. You have to understand microbiologists are inherent pack rats. And this microbiologist in 1969, then a newly minted PhD, was puzzled by the case of Robert R., who as detailed in a 1973 medical journal article, suffered from what is in 1987 considered a classic case of AIDS. It was such an interesting case, I just simply didn't want to say goodbye to it. And now, with tissue specimens Elvin Lewis and a colleague now in Phoenix held on to that reportedly have tested positive for the AIDS virus, researchers may be saying hello to a new but not inconsistent theory about the spread of the disease, generally accepted as starting in Africa. What it does is simply say that there were other places in the world this, this virus was occurring. And theorizes Elvin Lewis, dying off. After all, this young man was from 14 to 16 hospitalized. He didn't have much opportunity to do any transmitting. And so it burned out. And widespread interest in this case, first linked to AIDS in a letter to the editor of the Journal of the American Medical Association in 1984, didn't catch on until now. The box unearthed in the tiny closet at the end of the hallway now is being sent to Phoenix, where Elvin Lewis's colleagues will perform more tests on Robert R's tissue samples, hoping to solve the medical mystery and at the same time give some meaning to what once appeared to be the senseless death of a young St. Louis teenager.